Yo, just a short, um, not to say tips, just a short idea and short sharing on what to study and how to study for English. Now basically in English, I believe for most students, there are only like three little things to worry it compared to every other subject. Where the first thing is essays. Now, you see when it comes to essay, um, you want to kind of like read the essays, they are a lot more better. You can look for a lot of essays up on the internet, but kind of have a standard there. You need to have a standard because yeah, you, you kind of need the right standards for you yourself so that you can improve a lot. And let me tell you the way to improve your essay writing skill is kind of like what we have known is the things that sounds really cliche, just read more and write more. You know, when you start reading novels and all this kind of storytelling thing, your essays will become very good because in novels, the words that they use are very great. You know, when you read all these things, it just improves. Okay, now enough with this cliche. Let's move on to a more analytic one. You see, in literature, let's just take today, SPM 2014 as an example. They said to, they, they gave you a statement which is called one has to struggle in order to improve one's life improve one's life okay another example that we can get was we can take was do you like the story and let's have one more where um does is there let's, let's just have another one where the common one where we have the moral value the teams and all these things then we have the third one when it comes to describe when it comes to actually describing describing an event so i believe it kind of only have three types where the first types is actually asking for your opinion second type is asking for the things that you can get out the lessons that you can get out of it and the third thing is kind of like asking you to describe events okay let's go through how to answer each and each of them like okay let's go to the first one now when you do this first one you need some logical reasoning here you kind of need your brain to think well and actually use a logical idea here you see because when you are like answering this kind of question there's like always one answer that you have to answer do you like the story now logically if you think in your school do your teachers do the common kpm wants you to like the story definitely they want you to like the story now they ask you whether this statement is true or not do you think they want you to recognize this statement is true or not let's not think about in terms of the novels that we learn we think about in terms of our life where one actually struggle before they get their result yes right so the answer must be yes when you're answering you need to base on logic and common sense where when they ask you whether you like something or not you need to say yes even though you don't like it you just have to say yes because if you don't your marks will be very low because you choose kind of a different answer that's called our syllabus okay so basically after you have give all this you just need to kind of like list down three points about why you like it if you like a story because it's very interesting there's a plot twist suddenly in the middle i like the character the character is very kind and then i like the storyline that seemed kind of interesting it reminds me a lot of my life okay anything just any reasons one has to struggle to improve one life just find three events where you found that the character is struggling and then afterward they get their reward yeah as short as that as simple as that this is just a logical idea Basically, you just need to like logically answer them right and then relate to them. Okay, let's move on to the second one when it comes to morals and teams. Now, for morals and teams, I don't really encourage you to like memorize it. A lot of people studying for BM Consas or even English, they memorize a lot. And it's not so right to, it's not to say not right. You can start out by memorizing, but memorizing takes a lot of effort. It's better to kind of like try to get the hang of it and just try to derive things so let's say that there is one character that help another character what you want to do is you just want to see at this help helping this right is helping so when you see somebody is as helping then you can think of the moral value of kindness where we should be kind for one another then you can think about compassionate and it's like yeah being compassion to one another having a feeling of compassion and then also helping what else can we get helping selflessly helping other then the team you can say like maybe if this character after they help the other person you will just say that uh the karmic law that everything that you help the good they kind of get their good how to say balasan um, <laughs> they just get their good yeah repay you, you can repay the good death kind of something like that yeah basically just from one sentence try to derive things try to derive sentence from the story and just kind of like every time we watch a movie just think of what are the moral values that are there it's always there it's about kindness it's about it's it is about helping people it is about staying tough and stand up to the challenge and most of the time it's basically just kindness 
and then persevere. Persevere basically just means taba, jin chang in Chinese, taba in yam, and it's basically just like stay strong and face all your challenges. It kind of rare uh, circles around this one, these two, and maybe if the story revolves around a friend or family, F R I E N D and your family, you can kind of make it revolve around those. So you can kind of like put friends and family about the importance of having a good friend, importance of treating your family well. It's just like, it, with this three, you can kind of answer like most of the things already. Now, the third one will be describing. In describing, you kind of want to, so we are talking about content here, we kind of want to like separate into three, and then the climax must happen in the middle. Where well, let's say you describe an event where you felt very angry. Now, you may not feel angry in anything and you go it's like what is this no well I'm very confident I'm reading it but no just think of just be more emotional just fake and pretend that you are more angry so you choose a spot the particular event that makes you most angry you put it in the middle and before that you can kind of just put a little bit of introduction to it and at the end then you describe a little bit after the event here is a little bit before the event here is a little bit after the event now let's talk about ICC where it basically just means introduction content and conclusion so basically, when you're doing any essays writing in this literature, you want to have your introduction, which you introduce to the... introduce and basically just answering the question whether you agree or not. And you know, when the examiners are marking, their minds are like completely blank, so you want to let them to know a little bit of the story. So it's just a little bit of the story that you share, kind of like an introduction. Then content, we should move on to either this kind of question where you just share a few of them, or this kind where you just state reasons whether you agree or not, or this kind is where you go for describing. And lastly, your yeah, conclusion. And let me tell you, SPM nowadays, they tend to ask you to answer this one, the first one, where it involves a little bit of thinking skill and asks you to think and reason it out. They want to have actual ideas from your brain. So just share with you what you actually think. But firstly, before you kind of like actually think something, just have something more logical first. Think about the answer they would like to hear before you actually start answering it. Okay. Um, I'm not so sure about this. All that my teacher has told me is not like you can't choose another choice. You can't say that fake because you get you can find a lot of reasons as well with all this statement but my teacher has stated that if you answer the other way around it's kind of harder for you to get the marks because you are trying to oppose the moral values this is how it works so you can't blame it you can't choose the other answer if you if you want to you can try but your marks shouldn't be that high unless you can find some valid statements that's what my teacher say yeah then moving on to the third part where you go summary. Summary is kind of simple. You know, in school, it depends on your school, but my school teachers are very strict until today, yes, where they tell us that um, you don't actually need to be that uh, careful with your language. It's not to say you don't need to be careful, but you can actually score quite easily in the SPM, just the teachers are masking, marking extraordinarily strict. It's easy to get 10 points, and then afterward, the connectors you have to put them in. Connectors actually, if you put a few, you can actually improve your language to the five mark, the full marks that you want to get. The content will stand for 10 points, so go for the 10 points. Just find 10 content, and if more, just add in more. It would be very safe to have more than 10. Now, language, basically, when you put in connectors, choose those that have only one word, like meanwhile, um, furthermore, etc. If you can't think of anything else, choose those that have two words, like besides that. Try your best to avoid those that waste a lot of words like uh, uh, not only that, that would be three words. It's kind of like a waste. Yep. So basically I believe this is all that you need to kind of care about for your English. I'll see you next time. Peace.